name is Raghav Charya. This is Akash Nirvanti, and that is uh, this is Aya. How many of you have ever played video games in your life? How many of you have heard of the term social anxiety or social phobia? Well, did you know that by playing video games, you you have you have the, have had the chance of decreasing um, the chances of developing these disorders? Before I explain how this works, let me explain what social anxiety actually is. Social anxiety disorder, or social phobia, is a persistent fear of social situations and being around other people. Social anxiety gives people the mindset that no matter what situation they're in, they'll somehow become humiliated or embarrassed. Social anxiety is a huge problem, as it affects up to 15 million American adults each year. Social, however, it's likely that it starts at a younger age, as up to 46% of people with social anxiety have reported symptoms up to 10 years before actually being diagnosed with it. Now, there's many fact, uh, theories as to what causes social anxiety. One popular theory is that it's inherited. That is, if your parents had it, you inherited it from them. Another popular theory is that it's a learned behavior. That is, if your parents had it, you learned it from them while you saw them in social, how they acted in social situations. However, these might not be the most um, likely hypotheses, as there's been an incredibly high correlation between those who have social anxiety and those who have been constantly humiliated, embarrassed, or have undergone traumatic situations. These people tend to retreat to an inner shell, especially if they were shy to begin with. Now, it may not seem like uh, a problem at first, at just maybe an awkward situation in the hall. However, it can lead to very uh, bad situations. It can, lead to drug, it can lead people to do drugs and alcohol in ways we'll touch on in a little bit. It can also cause physical problems such as sweating, weak knees, uneasiness, and it can also cause things like um, butterflies in the stomach or a dry mouth. It can also cause low self-esteem and high levels of stress, which we'll also touch on in a little bit. Uh, it can also be a sort of gateway uh, disorder it, in the sense that it can lead to other uh, mental disorders such as generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, and depression. So one aspect of social anxiety is the stress that it causes. Social anxiety, it causes a lot of stress to those with it. For instance, kids and teens with social anxiety might be so stressed out about situa social situations that they won't answer questions in class, make eye contact with others in the hall, or even sit with other people during lunch. The stress caused by social anxiety can, can cause physical symptoms like any normal person, that is, weak knees, um, dry mouth, sw uh, sweaty palms, etc. However, people with social anxiety, their brains tend to interpret these symptoms as something dangerous, and as a result, these symptoms tend to last longer and appear more often. This leaves the people with social anxiety in a state of constant stress, and it also uh, means that they get stressed out in normally unstressful situations. The high levels of stress caused by social anxiety also can also uh, lead people to develop something known as selective mutism. Selective mutism is when you cannot talk in a certain situation because you're so stressed out about it. For instance, if you had social anxiety and you had so, uh, selective mutism, you might not talk, say, in a friend's house or to a certain ethnicity or gender. Now, while the stress aspect of social anxiety is fairly huge, there's another aspect that's at least as big as it, if, if not more. And that is low self-esteem. Low self-esteem is another issue that comes with social anxiety, and partnered with it, it's even more dangerous. Social anxiety combined with self-esteem is that if people believe that they can't interact with other people, in addition to believing that they can't improve this, then they believe that they don't have personal self-worth to themselves. Low self-esteem can sometimes come with perfectionism, but people with low self-esteem don't act on that perfectionism to get better at things because they believe that they can't improve. However, all these problems of social anxiety, stress, and low self-esteem can be directly solved by our solution. Because the problem that starts around the age of 13, we wanted to find a solution that worked for people of that age group, <coughs> which is why we chose to encourage video games. Because they are both popular with teenagers and effective. Having trouble believing that second part? Well, here's what we can, here is what we're considering when we tell you this. In psychology, there is a concept known as flow, where the repetitiveness and engagingness of a task cause a person to become immersed in it. Now, if you've ever played video games, or even just watched someone else play them, you know that this is definitely the case. Being so focused on this task, i.e. games, leads them to lose track of all else. 
which leads to a loss of self-consciousness. Now, this concept has been used in the past to deal with various mental illnesses. For example, war veterans have been known to take up knitting because it is repetitive and takes their mind off things. So we have evidence that this could work with anxiety. However, flow is not video game's sole advantage. Studies have shown that children that play video games tend to have better emotional control in their actual lives. Puzzle games in particular have been known to improve players' moods, which can work to undo negative emotions and to cope with anxiety. One study actually had patients with depression play casual puzzle games, and their symptoms decreased by an average of 57%. They also experienced a decrease in anxiety and their moods improved significantly, which helps to prove our point. So a video game context is effective because it is fake enough that a person can practice controlling their emotions in environments that will not affect their actual life, but it's still real enough to make their accomplishments still matter. Speaking of accomplishments, the immediate feedback system from completing tasks in video games is known to build player determination. So the visible um, increase in accomplishments from collecting coins, gaining points, or seeing the number of levels you complete increase motivates the player to keep going because they think that they can keep gaining. So this, um, um, so this helps, this influences their perception of intelligence as they start to see it as something they can build up in the same way that they built up coins, points, or levels, which helps with their self-esteem and determination. And together, this helps combat social anxiety. And our solution isn't limited to just one person at a time. With multiplayer gameplay, whether it's somebody sitting right next to you on the same sofa, or someone halfway across the world at the other end of a computer screen, people playing games together can work together to reach a common goal through cooperation, rather than fighting against some other CPU that doesn't actually exist. This encourages pro-social behavior in a context that won't embarrass someone. For example, if they fail a task in a video game, it won't seem like a social blunder that they'll be embarrassed about. However, as with all solutions, there are limitations to ours, but this can be simply mitigated with time management. It's important to manage time while playing video games because the immersion can become frustrating eventually. If one plays a video game or does any task for a long amount of time monotonously, it might get frustrating if we don't achieve the, the expected results. So we we suggest that one plays a video game for an hour at a stretch, rather than going on for three hours and not achieving the results, and by staggering the amount of time to reach the results effectively. So in conclusion, we've mentioned before that social anxiety is a huge problem. It can cause high levels of stress, low self-esteem issues, um, it, can cause, it can lead into other mental disorders, and it can even lead into drug, drugs and alcohol. Uh, social anxiety is most prevalent among adults. However, we've mentioned before that it's likely to start earlier, usually around the teenagers, which is why our solution of video games uh, will help with these um, issues because it appeals to the target demographic. Thank you.